What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall and Weekly Crucible loot from the past week on all three of my characters. So this past week's Nightfall was the Sunless Cell Strike with the Dark Blade. Definitely a more chill Nightfall compared to last week. Last week was pretty rough with the Undying Mine and Solar Burn. That was a very challenging Nightfall in my opinion and it was pretty tough just because everything was solar and it was a lot more chill this week with this strike. I also like this strike a lot more out of all the Taken King strikes in general. So it was a pretty decent week. We also had Iron Banner this week. So I'll show you guys my rewards when I complete all of that as well later on in the week. So stay tuned for that. But let's get into my rewards for this video. Starting off with my first character on my Nightfall rewards. For my Hunter, we ended up getting ourselves... A legendary class item, pretty unlucky, and my teammate also got a legendary armor piece, but one of my teammates got an exotic on that one, so that was pretty lucky for him. Everyone else got some uh, pretty poor rewards. Moving on to my next character on my Titan, this time we ended up getting ourselves another armor piece, so we got another legendary armor piece, a chest piece this time, and my other teammate got a auto rifle. And one of my teammates got a Mita multi-tool, so once again, one of us got lucky with an exotic on the reward. And then finally, for my last Nightfall of the week on my Warlock, we ended up getting ourselves a, another legendary armor piece. So we got a helmet that time, and one of my teammates got a Sparrow toolkit. I was pretty jealous of that one. I kind of want those Sparrow toolkits so I can get some new Sparrows, but uh, he got pretty lucky on that one. Going into my weekly Crucible rewards for my first character, we ended up getting 17 Strange Coins, and that's it. That was pretty good. I'm actually fine with Strange Coins. I'd prefer that than a Legendary Armor Piece or a Ghost Shell or something like that, so that was pretty good. And then moving on to my next weekly Crucible reward on my Titan, we ended up getting an Armamentarium Exotic Chest Piece. So that was really cool. I got an Exotic out of one of my weekly bounties, and an Armamentarium is actually one of the best... Titan Exotics in my opinion, so if you guys don't have one of those, you should try get one in an engram or try see if Zer selling it one week, it's very good. Definitely one of the best Titan Exotics in the game for both PvE and PvP. And then for my last Crucible reward of the week, we ended up getting a competitive Go Shell, so that was pretty unlucky for my last one, but that was the last weekly bounty that I opened up across my characters for the week. But I've been pretty lucky as of lately in the past few weeks. I haven't gotten a competitive ghost shell in quite a while. So I've been getting better stuff. That was the first ghost shell I got in a while. So I've been pretty lucky as of lately. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Watching, liking, subscribing. I appreciate all you guys a lot. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.